In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create photo slideshows and embed them in a blog or website. For this example, I'm going to use a website called www.photosnack.com. Photosnack is a free web resource that allows us to upload pictures and create multimedia slideshows that we can embed in a blog or a website. One thing that I like about Photosnack is it also has a listing of other resources available to us. To get started, we'll click on the Sign In button on the right hand side. You can go ahead and register and sign up for a premium account with some paid options. Or in this case, we can actually use our Google Docs or Google ID. So I'll click on Connect with Google and then I'm going to sign in with my Google Docs ID. Once I'm signed in, it will take me right back to the Photosnack homepage. I'm going to begin by clicking on a new slideshow. Here you'll see the option to add different types of photo albums from Facebook, Flickr, Picasa, and so on or you can simply drag and drop files from your desktop into this window or click on the browse button which is what we're going to do. Remember to scroll down to the left side and choose photos if you're using Mac OS X to have access to your iPhoto library. Here I have a list of events so I'll scroll down and pick the event that I want click open and my pictures will automatically be uploaded to the site. Now that all of my pictures have been uploaded, the next step is to click on the Next button up on the top. Here you'll see a list of the templates available to us. Some of them are a little bit more interactive than others, and I would encourage you to click on and play with the different templates. For this particular slideshow, I'm going to choose the simple thumbnail grid. I'll click on it and it will load a preview of what my slideshow will look like. I'll click the use this template. And now I have an option to customize my slideshow. Here is where you can change any music, different options for navigation, and other information about your slideshow. But for this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and not change any of that information. And here's my finished slideshow. When I click on finish, I'll have an option to publish my slideshow several different ways. If I scroll down to the middle of the page, I'll be given a direct link to this slideshow. I'll also be able to post it, tweet it, or send it out in email. In this case, I'm going to use the free embed tool. This will allow me to put it inside of my blog post. I'll click on free embed, and then I'm going to copy the code. This embed code will allow me to put it inside of a blog post. So now I'm going to go to blogger.com, because that's what I'm using to create my blog. If you are using WordPress or KidBlog or another type of blog service, you would be able to do it the same way. And I'll click on New Post for my blog. The title of my blog post will be My Photo Slideshow. And now I'm going to click on the Edit HTML. Be sure to be in the HTML mode when you paste in your information. So now I'm going to go to Edit and Paste. And the embed code shows up in my blog post. When I click on preview to see what my blog post will look like, here is my slideshow embedded into my blog. Now I can go back to the blog and publish the post. When I view my post, I'll see what it would look like on my actual blog. And when I click play, I'll have access to my thumbnail gallery just as I had chosen in Photosnack. Now, if you're picky, you might notice that the edge of the slideshow 
does not fit in the entire container of the blog. To fix this, we can click on the pencil, and in the embed code, there's an option for width. So I'm going to change the width to 580, and I'm going to change the height to 380. And now when I republish the post and view it, you'll see that the post fits nicely into the window. Again, this has been adding a slideshow to your blog using Photosnack.